All right, today we got some visitors with us. Uh, we got Trey from Race Tech, and he has brought us a present. Stay tuned, and we're going to get into it. All right, so if you've seen, and I'm going to link it in the description, but if you've seen the video on uh, the, the, the Ray Charles Piston deal, um, that was Race Tech. And immediately, I mean literally within an hour of that video coming out, the vice president called me and he, uh, you know, he, he was just dumbfounded that this whole situation even happened. And he assured me that, you know, it was going to get corrected. And he put me in touch with Trey and uh we had multiple conversations about this deal and today we have the correct pistons in our hand and we're going to talk a little bit about what happened why it happened and and what race tech did to to fix this problem so i'm going to let trey introduce himself and tell you about him and about race tech and and about this whole little saga here so if, if you would yeah, i'm trey mcfarland with race tech pistons and uh, when this all came to light it uh, struck a chord with us as well uh, we started looking at our processes to try and ascertain exactly how we ended up in this situation with the customer getting a part that he felt he gave clear communication on what he was looking for but received something considerably different than what he was expecting. So to start a little bit, this is a 604 piston. Uh, the critical component was that the piston looks identical to the OE piston because it is a restricted class. And so that is uh, different than what we're used to seeing in terms of a custom piston. Uh, some of the other challenges were the valve pockets. This is not a valve pocket that you would duplicate in a performance scenario, but for this, it needed to be identical. So what ended up happening was when the engineer looked at this, he communicated back with the salesperson, letting him know that this is going to be a full 3D crown for us to duplicate this right. pocket exactly. And the salesperson communicated that I don't believe that with this level of a build that they're going to be able to do that expensive of a piston. And that's where our process kind of fell down a little bit. Right. At that Because that was never communicated to me. Exactly. At that point, we should have communicated that back um, and then gave you the decision sure. on what we do. Unfortunately, that's where it stopped and the engineer moved forward with make this part as identical as you can. Mm -hmm but stay with the 2D design. We don't have a form tool for this type of valve pocket because again, it wouldn't be something we would duplicate. Sure. So what we ended up with is the piece that you had shown in the other video where we were mimicking the volume, but the look was exactly. notably different. Exactly. And so when I first got into this and started talking with the group, they said, well, it'll perform the same. Yeah. That is... Well, me and you know that's yeah, not the goal. Exactly, but right. that wasn't the goal. So, But they, they didn't grasp that, exactly. that aspect. And um, some of it led to, you know, some of it was based upon um, the, um, our, our guys, the salesperson and the engineer at the time did not have a real good experience with the 604 exactly. motor. So they didn't understand. Because it's probably those. not nearly as popular out there as no, it is no, here. No. Like, um, like Yeah, in California, it's, it's not near as, <clears throat> sure. as popular. So, um, so they had not had that still the communication should have been mm -hmm. better, and that's where we've gone ahead and made some adjustments to our um, to our processes, right. so that these steps are in place that we make sure that any component that varies from what mm -hmm. the customer has explained that they want, we communicate back to them what that is. And in fact, like when we made these, 
essentially a model. Exactly. So you could yep. see Absolutely. And yeah. They, you can measure the model. But sure, but visually, yeah, they they, they like. you know they sent me a three D drawing, and I could see the crown perfectly, and you know it visually. And again, that was the only requirement in the original order was visually we need to look like the original piston. And you know Trey shot me an email. Here's what we got. I said absolutely, that's perfect. Let's move forward. And today we got a piston that meets 100% of my expectations. And, and that's and that's all we need. And while we're on that subject, because I've seen it in the comments multiple times, and I want to put that nonsense to bed. So <laughs> multiple, and it's it's you know people have got so many silly ideas on the internet. People were saying that you know uh, the the reason that you made that they made the piston that way is because Race Tech didn't want to make a, a cheater piston, you know. And, and the the problem with that thinking is, I have a job to do. Race Tech has a job to do. Uh, whoever piston company X has a job to do. It doesn't matter. So when we order a part, it doesn't matter if it meets the class rules to you. You just need to make a piston. Exactly. We're right. being asked to make a piston. Right. We need to give the customer what the customer wants. Exactly. It's beyond our responsibility whether or not it gets you. Exactly. Properly. Exactly. Now, so what we would come into play is if you were trying to do something that we thought was going to be, in our experience, a performance or durability exactly. challenge, exactly. then we need to step up and say, hey, I'm, I'm telling you, we've had bad experience with this. Sure, And then sure. if you choose to do it, sure. we've at least had the discussion. Right, 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 right. And so that was, but, but I've seen that so many times, you know, and, and again, I, you know, I'm not quote unquote far or against cheating, but if you riding around in a circle and you in the front, you cheating somewhere. Man, That's you're just, massaging the right, right, so, right, right. So yeah, there are gray areas. There are some areas that ain't gray, but there are gray areas. And if you ain't in them, you probably ain't winning. Yeah. So we can we can just put that nonsense to bed. That is that is not even part of the conversation for me or the piston manufacturer. We just need to make a part that fits the application that the customer is paying for. And and that and that's all. And and while while we're there, uh, you know, I, I want to make it clear that the original video was never designed to hurt race tech pistons. That wasn't the goal. The goal was that I couldn't get above my contact, so they they wouldn't let me talk to a higher up. So I had no recourse really, or I felt like I had no recourse than to make a video and and immediately, obviously it worked, because immediately the vice president called me and you know he apologized and he said he just couldn't believe what he just watched, you know, and he was he was super nice and like I say, you know, he he put me in touch with you and you've been nothing but helpful through this whole scenario. And so the the you know, they've got uh, some processes in place now to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Make sure the communication's better, but then in addition, um, no one should feel that the buck stops at the first guy that you're talking to. Absolutely. And uh, so we talked about it. We're going to put my contact information at the bottom of the video. If anyone feels that they need a little more attention yep. or they need a little help with something, don't ever hesitate to contact me, and if I can't get you that answer, that you'll get them to the right person. I will get you to the right person, Absolutely. and I'll follow up to make sure that everything went to process and that we move on through mm -hmm. the, the uh, system. Because um, dealing with manufacturers can be challenging, and pistons are one of mm -hmm. the ones that have so many variables you're managing and there is a lot of custom oh, business out there and it is a common challenge i think that's why part of why this uh, your first video had such a strong hit a strong chord sure was that it is a lot of information and there are a lot of struggles with mm -hmm. that communication mm -hmm. and so we have made adjustments within our processes mm -hmm. to make sure that those don't happen 
but we're still human. Oh, absolutely. Anytime you get a human involved, there's a chance for a mistake. But we will always have a backup so that we mm -hmm. can get the customer. And, and that's what I, and that's what I got to say with this whole entire deal. I am absolutely blown away because. I mean, I've been doing this since I was knee high to a grasshopper and everybody else knows this scenario. You call a manufacturer, uh, we got a problem. And the first answer is, man, this is the first we ever heard about that. How, I mean, how many times have yeah, you heard or, that scenario? What did you do? Right, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and here we are, whatever, you know, and, and, I, and again, I talk, you know, he told me that they would turn this deal around in a week or two. Mm -hmm. And I said, look, you know, we got, you know, bigger fish to fry today. So I didn't want them to be, you know, running the hundred mile hour. And then it takes me two more months to get to it. So we, we, we give them some time, but they still turned it around really quick. But what I want to say is that the, the most awesome thing with this whole deal is that not only did they take ownership of the problem, which is absolutely amazing to me, that just, to me, that speaks volumes. N not only did they do that, but he got in his car and drove to my shop and handed me my pistons. <laughs> I mean, that, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. that right there, that separates the men from the boys as far as I'm concerned. Because I'm, I, I, I ain't never done a video or even said anything about it. But I had another piston company ship a, a set of pistons to the wrong address two and a half hours away and basically told me, you know, oh, well, just... This is where they're at. Yeah, that's where they're at. Yeah. You figure it out. Mm -hmm. You know, so, I mean, we couldn't even get them shipped to the right place. And, 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 and a trade got in his car and drove down here. And, and you got to be at LS Fest... Yeah, leaving tomorrow. To, tomorrow, so <laughs> so he he he's got a full schedule, and, and he stopped, and and we had some scheduling issues of, of our own because we've been going to California and, and all that. So, you know, we was glad we could get this done, but I hope <clears throat> that you know this puts the whole scenario to bed, and I'm tickled to death. And I look to do a lot more business with Race Tech, and you know, like I say, all of the the pistons we've done in the past, hundred percent, and this one deal just, you know, it was just just a bad deal for everybody, but it's fixed now. Yeah. So, and again, we're gonna put his contact information in the description. So if anybody's got tech questions, need to contact anybody in Race Tech, it'll be there. Excellent. All right. Thank you all so much. Like, share, subscribe. Check out the website. If you need anything, powermachineinc.com. And uh, if you need race tech pistons, give me a call. Thank you so much.